Unlocking the meaning of down for the count. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase that you might have heard in movies, TV shows, or even in everyday conversation. Down for the count. Understanding such phrases can not only enhance your English learning journey but also help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's unravel the mystery behind this expression together. Firstly, it's crucial to understand where the phrase, down for the count, comes from. This expression has its roots in boxing. In boxing, when a fighter is knocked down, the referee starts counting to 10. If the fighter fails to get up by the count of 10, they are considered defeated in the match. Hence, the term, down for the count, literally means being knocked down and potentially out of the fight. In everyday English, down for the count has taken on a broader meaning. It's used to describe someone or something that is temporarily incapacitated or in a state of inactivity. This can be due to illness, exhaustion, or facing a significant setback. For example, if someone is too sick to attend a meeting, you might say, he's down for the count with the flu. It's also worth noting that the phrase can be used in both literal and figurative contexts. While it may literally refer to someone being unable to get out of bed due to illness, figuratively, it could describe someone who is overwhelmed or defeated by circumstances, like failing an exam or going through a tough time. To help solidify your understanding, let's look at a few examples of how down for the count can be used in sentences. After running the marathon, I was completely down for the count for the rest of the day. The company tried to keep up with the market demands, but after the economic crash, it was down for the count. She thought she could go to work despite her cold, but by lunchtime, she was down for the count. And there you have it. The phrase, down for the count, is a versatile expression that you can use to describe situations ranging from personal health to broader life challenges. We hope this video has shed light on its meaning and usage, making your English language learning journey a bit more enriching. Remember, understanding such phrases will not only improve your comprehension but also your ability to express nuanced ideas. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.